Hi, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and now enjoy the video. Do you think she's dancing? In fact, she was stealing money from the bank. Piles and piles of money were being thrown into the bin behind her. And the security guard in the surveillance room, with her eyes wide open, didn't see her little move. And then her cleaning lady accomplice. And then her fellow cleaners took the bags out and put them in the car. By the end of the day, the three women went to the toilet and hide the stolen money in their clothes. Then they calmly went through the security check. Finally, they managed to get the money back home. It turns out the place where the three women work is the Federal Reserve Bank. Every day, tens of millions of old bills are destroyed here. On her first day at work, by a cleaning lady. She was amazed by the scene before her eyes. Tons of banknotes in the workshop. Piles and piles of banknotes are thrown into the shredder. It was a heartbreaking sight for Sister Bai. She knew that she was in a time of great need of money. Her husband's company had just gone bankrupt. She was in huge debt. She'd been pampered for half her life. She had to work as a cleaner to make ends meet. I thought to herself that with so many old banknotes, if she took out a few bundles before shredding, no one would know about it. But it was easier to think than to do. The security system here is very tight. From sorting to transportation to shredding, every step of the way, every corner is monitored by cameras in real time, and everyone has a set area to move around. You have to register even to go to the toilet. Originally, Bai had given up on the idea of stealing the money, but then God gave her a chance. One day when she was shopping in the supermarket, she accidentally found the lock on the shelf. The locks on the shelves were exactly the same as the locks on the money trucks. Only the locks in the bank were custom made, so she had a daring idea. If the locks were changed before the money was transported, and then change it back quietly after stealing the money, it would never be discovered. Then Bai began to study the surveillance, to record the route of the banknotes. You don't say she did find a loophole. The bin at the entrance of the lift was a blind spot. While the money truck was waiting for the lift, just in the way of the bin. If she could get the money into the bin at this point, and she happens to be in charge of cleaning up the trash, then the money would be there. But we need to find help. First we need to find someone who has access to the keys to the truck. That way, she could do the lock change at the end. So White banged the black girl from the shredding room. But as soon as she revealed the idea of stealing the money, Blackie immediately refused. She's a single mother. She had two children to feed. Of course she wouldn't dare to do something criminal. But I didn't give up. She followed Blackie all the way home. She accidentally found out that she was very concerned about her children's education. The next day, in her locker, the next day, there were a few leaflets about top schools in her locker. After reading them, Blackie was really impressed. She immediately decided to join. The next thing she needed was someone to carry the money, so that they could throw the money in the bin at the lift. So they chose Lily the rocker. This Lily is a socialite. When she heard their plan, she didn't even think twice about it. And so the three of them hit it off. The next day, they were off and running. I hid the lock she bought from the supermarket in her belt. She passed the security check before going to work. Then, while she was cleaning up, she then secretly changed the locks on the money truck and gave Lily the number of the van. And while she was waiting for the lift, the top half of her body appears to be dancing, while her hands were working underneath, unlocking and throwing the money into the bin, locking it up again in one go. Then Sister White comes over and collects the rubbish bags. The black girl has already got the lock of the bank in the bathroom. She managed to change the lock back while shredding the banknotes. The whole process went very smoothly, but just as they were carrying the banknotes out of the bank, there was an accident. And Lily had the spare key. They called Lily to deliver the key. But the bank has a very strict system. Everyone's area and hours of operation. Everyone's area and hours of operation are limited. Lily couldn't go to the smash zone at this time. And on the other hand, the black girls, they were about to shred the car of banknotes they had changed the lock on. If they couldn't open the lock, they would be exposed immediately. And that's when Lily had an idea. She wrapped the key in gum. When the lift doors opened, she pretended to argue with the people inside. Then she threw the gum into the lift. When the lift came to Sister White's floor, she pretends to clean and remove the gum. Then she rushes to the shredding room. Finally, at the last minute, she threw the key to the black girl. Is the crisis over? The trio thought they'd done a perfect job, but then a careful security guard noticed everything, but he didn't turn them in. Instead, he advised Blackie to stop. White has no choice but to ask Blackie to use the beauty trick, because we all know that the security guard likes Blackie. That's why he didn't report them. It must be because of this. So Blackie got all dressed up. She went to the security guard's house, and without saying a word, the security guard was taken down, and they managed to get him into the fire too. Now they had a man at every step of the way. The girls were able to move with ease. They pocketed a lot of money. Lily got a new car. Sister White bought a big diamond ring. They also had the occasional cocktail party. They were living the life of the upper class. But it was their extravagance and extravagance caught the attention of federal investigators. In order to avoid being arrested and sent to jail, they had to destroy the evidence and burn all the money. These people are so pathetic because they had so much money. They have to throw it in the fire and burn it. Throw it down the drain. And the worst of all was Lily. She set up the mechanism in the caravan full of money. Finally she closes the door and pulls the wire. The mechanism in the car is instantly activated. And boom! 
The car full of money was instantly reduced to ashes. The money was stolen from the Federal Reserve Bank after the evidence was destroyed. Lily and her boyfriend tried to escape in their car. But then, the police arrived in a helicopter to pick up the black girl who was burning the money and Bai's husband who was flushing money down the drain. Only Bai escaped alone with a bag of money. After a night of interrogation, Lily was prepared to take the blame for everything but only if Blackie is acquitted because she still had two children. And just then sister Bai came with her lawyer. It turned out that she had run away to get a lawyer. When the lawyer found out what had happened, he didn't want to help. But she dumped the whole bag of money. The lawyer took over the case at once. Once the lawyer arrived, things took a turn for the worse. He was adamant that the police had no evidence that the money had been stolen from the bank, so no arrests could be made. In order to substantiate the charges against several people, the police called the bank manager. But the manager knew that the three women had stolen the money. But he didn't dare to admit it, because if he admitted it, he would lose his job. Think about it. Three women stole money right under his nose, and he didn't even notice. Isn't that incompetence? Besides, if he admits it, wouldn't that be an admission? Their proud security system was flawed? So he had to grit his teeth and deny it. The police can't convict without evidence. But, a tax officer said, even if the money wasn't stolen, but even if the money wasn't stolen, they still had to pay a fine for not paying tax. The men were eventually released without charge, but all the money was confiscated. They were once again left penniless. Six months later, the three sisters meet again. After catching up for a while, Sister Bai suddenly asked a question. Have you ever heard of the saying, don't put all your eggs in one basket? Then she took them to a basement. It was filled with rubbish bags, but when they opened them, there was money, and the wine barrel was also full of money. It turns out that Sister Bai knows how to be a cunning rabbit, so she bought this bar a long time ago. Every time she made a profit, she would secretly take some of the money and deposit it in the bar. After all, no one knows how much they've stolen. And the money here, enough to last them the rest of their lives. A happy life was just...